you guys so it is day number one uh, day number two of my sewing series for beginners if you have not seen day number one I'll put that down in the bar below but today I'm gonna show you the functions of your sewing machine and I'm also going to show you how to thread your bobbin all right so starting off with the main functions of the sewing machine now of course this is a standard size sewing machine but they have larger and even many size sewing machines all right so starting with the bobbin winder now these two parts are part of the bobbin winder uh, this winds the thread onto the bobbin for the use of the lower thread if you go up to the a little bit above that this is a spool pin this holds the spool of thread now you can um, bring this thing down or up but you just use this to put your spool of thread on if you go over to the upper um, tension thread control dial this controls the tensure of your upper thread now I usually leave this at three this is a thread guide this is used when winding the thread onto the bobbin and then threading the machine this is the thread take up lever this is only to use when you are actually in the sewing process all right and if you go to the side of the machine this is the thread cutter you pass the thread through the thread cutter to cut them okay so this is a flatbed and it actually comes with an attachment um, I like to store things here like my pins and needles and things like that but you can actually use this to hem things um, stick your armhole through or pants holes all right so this is the presser foot this is gonna be your love because this is gonna help you sew your clothes the reverse sewing lever this will help reinforce your end of stitching all right so now we come to the pattern selection dial with this you can um, choose any stitch that you want on this brother machine it actually shows you the type of stitch that you're choosing now if you go to the back of the machine you see the hand wheel um, you use this manually to raise and lower the needle and you can also back stitch with that with this as well so let's go ahead and turn the machine around all right so we have come to the back of the machine now this is the button hole fine adjustment screw this is for you to use to sew your buttons of course we cannot forget the main power and sew light switch and the foot controller jack the socket this is what the foot um, controller looks like and all you got to do is connect the pressure foot to the machine. All right, so let's turn the machine around. And this is the presser foot. If you didn't see me raise that down, this is what it does. This is it. Put it down when you're ready to sew. And this is the foot controller. This is how you use it. You just push it all the way down if you want to sew fast. Uh, you can control your feeds with, the, with your foot. All right, time to show you how to use this bobbin. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is grab your thread and you're gonna bring it to the front of your, ten your thread um, holder. And you're gonna make a little bit of tension in between the two. And you're gonna start to pull it a little bit. You'll see it here. Um, starting to turn and you're actually going to take the thread in the middle and go up into the hole you're not going to start from the bottom you're going to start from the middle and then there you see it um, once you get it through and you're going to pull the bobbin down onto the bobbin winder and then you're going to give it a few little spins and then you're going to pull it to the other side of the bobbin winder there you go all right the next thing you do is turn your machine on and go ahead and start to wind that bobbin all you're gonna do when you're winding it is you're pushing your foot controller down and then you're gonna cut the um, long thread just make it a little bit shorter once you've winded it a little bit and you just keep winding that bobbin all the way 
give you guys a little bit of foot action. This is what it looks like when you are moving that pedal. All right, and so this is what it looks like. Um, it's not all the way full, but you kind of get the point. This is what it's going to look like, and you just cut the thread either with scissors or you can use your thread cutter on the side of your machine. And voila, this is what it looks like. This You just learned how to thread your first bobbin. Congratulations. And I'm just going to stick it back here at the bottom of the um, sewing machine. If you want to see how to thread this through your machine, then check out my day one. All right, you guys, so that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this day number two of the sewing series for beginners. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, of course, hit the subscribe button, and that will notify you whenever I have uploaded my next video for this series. So go ahead and click that button. Um, anyways, again, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on day number three.